Welcome to the eight costly boat buying mistakes to avoid. Buying a boat is all in all a pretty complicated and challenging endeavor in many ways. It's an up and down ride through all the stages and all the overwhelming details, especially so, so if you're a new boater. All the details and the mistakes are multiplied. And surprisingly, many people make some pretty common and expensive mistakes when they buy a boat. So I'm going to give you a few tips about what not to do when you're looking at buying a boat at genuine boat buying value. Most importantly, this short video is to remind you about these eight mistakes. And when you start to look out for a boat to buy, you can remember to come back and look these up and apply these tips as you start on your boat buying journey. So let's take a look at mistake number one. The first mistake is buying the wrong boat at the right price. A super duper deal but it's the wrong boat so price is critical when buying a boat and what the right price is can actually be more art than science however if you end up buying the wrong boat the loss you incur must be added to the right price that you paid so this is a common and costly buying mistake and one that you can and should avoid the second mistake is the reverse it's buying the right boat but at the wrong price and the question to ask around here is, do new boat owners or people that are new to the area, like expatriates that have moved in, do they pay more for a boat than seasoned or experienced boat owners? So buying the right boat for your needs is critical when buying and understanding the right price is astute and it gives you boat buying confidence as well. The third mistake is buying a boat that's too big. Uh, it can be tempting to buy the biggest boat that you can afford, but if boat handling competence is important to you, this can be a fatal strategy. There are many boats that, that don't even leave the docks, and they rather they sit there and they depreciate quickly and costing money. A boat that's too big that doesn't leave the docks is a boat buying mistake. The fourth mistake is buying a boat that's too small. Not enough room to be comfortable. A cabin that feels worse than a cheap hotel or it's hard to prepare meals on board may be some of the reasons why your family and friends quickly get tired of boating. Considering comforts of home may be important to your family and your friends and buying the right size boat certainly helps with that comfort. Mistake number five is buying a boat that doesn't meet your needs or your wants. So one of the challenges in buying a boat is the competing needs and wants, the goals and the desires, the cruising, the sailing, the water sports, the fishing, the holding business events, the holding of parties. We may want it all, but without prioritizing you and your family's goals and objectives, you could inadvertently end up buying a really good deal, but a boat that isn't suitable for your needs. So the sixth mistake is that you didn't realize the cost of keeping a boat and a critical part of your boat buying journey is to fully explore the costs of boat ownership now this should be right from the pre-purchase stage all the way through to the sale so that you can factor in the true cost into your financial goals and your family plans you'll be glad that you did this and so will your partner or your spouse so the seventh mistake is that you didn't plan a boat exit strategy so to enjoy your boating lifestyle, having a ballpark idea of how you could sell your boat, whether that's an upgrade, a downgrade, or exiting boating altogether, will help you understand the true cost of your boat ownership. So this will equip you with more confidence in your boat buying journey and avoid nasty cost surprises for, your, for yourself and your spouse or your partner. So it's a pretty important thing to get this cost and your exit strategy thought about so that you can plan that in. And the eighth costly boat buying mistake is that you didn't have a clear path to get from the dockside to the sea. So the key to avoid making these costly mistakes lies in having a clear roadmap to get you from point A to point B. Most boat buyers start with the wrong question of how big a boat should I get? And all the risks of disappointing not only yourself and your family rise considerably from those wrong questions being asked at the beginning. If you find an independent buyer's advisor who will be able to craft this clear and actionable step-by-step -step path for you to follow, 
to gain 100% boat buying confidence and achieve that genuine boat buying value. So those are the eight key mistakes and hopefully they'll help you get a little bit more clear on the things that you need to consider and think about when buying a boat. And the name of the game is to get yourself crystal clear about what you need to do on that journey. So if there's anything else that you need to know or you'd like to have a chat, then feel free to book a call with us. Um, we're happy to talk to you and we'd love to hear from you. Hope these eight costly boat buying mistakes tips have been handy. Book a call if you'd like to know more.